My guess is that there are many countries who would give their eye teeth for the success that the Malbec grape has had in the country of Argentina. It's become synonymous. Malbec equals Argentina, Argentina equals Malbec, and that gives Argentina a great strength and a great focus, and it brings them to the forefront of consumers of wine. And it's something that a lot of other countries don't have this signature grape, if you like. Uh, but having said that, I suspect there are lots of growers, lots of wine growers, lots of wine producers in Argentina who sometimes wish the focus wasn't so relentlessly on Malbec because there's a whole host of grape varieties, red wine grape varieties in Argentina, also making extremely good wines, and perhaps they live a little bit in the shadow of Malbec. This week I have an example of another grape variety. This one comes from the company Trapici, a big company in Mendoza, and it's the Brocel Bonarda 2009. Uh, it sells for £10.99 in Tesco, and if there are other retailers, I'll put a list at the end of the video. Now, Bonarda is a grape originally from the north of Italy, and there are quite big plantings of it in Argentina. I think, I wouldn't swear to this, but I think Trapici Trapici has Italian origins too, and although this is made at that typical kind of thousand meter elevation in the Mendoza Valley, in the foothills of the Andes, um, that gives it a bit of extra weight and a bit of extra depth, but the freshness comes through of this grape and of the region. It's also aged for 12 months in French and American oak, and to be absolutely honest, I think the oak's slightly overdone, overpowering for my personal taste, but it doesn't stop it being an extremely good wine. And if you don't mind that kind of vanilla and toast flavour so much, then you'll probably like it even more than I do. On the nose, one thing I really like about this is there's a lovely brightness, a kind of red fruit cherry brightness to the wine. It's not all about the kind of dark, roasted, plummy notes that some uh, big red wines are. This is big, but it still has a bit of energy, a bit of lift about it. And the oak's there for sure. A touch sawdusty, a bit of vanilla, a bit of toast. And lots and lots of berry fruit, even a hint of chocolate onto the palate. Mmm, that real juicy fruit focus is there. Um, a bit like a kind of blackcurrant or cherry jam intensity of fruit here. Lovely, lovely sweetness. It does continue with that kind of bright theme. The acidity is quite bright here. Very typical of northern Italian red wine grapes. And it's captured in this glass. A lovely, clean acid finish. And the oak's there again, adding that layer of toast, that layer of kind of chocolatey, earthy depth to it. But a big, impressive wine. 14% um, alcohol, so it's pretty big scaled. But it has that little bit of red fruit energy, that little bit of acidity that keeps it quite interesting too. So, it's a big one. It's an oaky one. It's, um, it's a, a full-on in-your-face style of wine, but it's something a bit different. It's a very good quality. I think it will age for a few years too. And right now, with um, the right food, with some really nice spicy lamb dish perhaps, maybe even up against an Indian curry, it's certainly got the presence to take those robust foods on. So this is the Trapici Brocel Bonarda 2011. It comes from Mendoza in Argentina, and it's on sale at £10.99 in Tesco, um, possibly only on their uh, bigger stores and their Buy the Case website, and possibly in other independent retailers. And it is my wine of the week.